Connor, question for you. You have won exactly one fight since Barack Obama was president. Over Connor. Over a fighter smash who has zero wins over the last six fights. You little rabbit thing. This man smack him. sent smack you him. to a place where time doesn't exist six months ago. We want to know why should anyone expect anything different on Saturday? It's one more, it's Look, one more fight I won than your little sissy ass, your little funny part. Why should we expect anything different on Saturday? Michael, what do you have to say to critics who say that George St. Pierre went after you, moved up a weight class because you're an easier target than someone like Tyron Woodley? No, critics didn't say that, you idiot. I said that. I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm completely healed from my last fight, as you can see. No black eyes and everything. My face, body, mind, heart is all ready to go. So let's do this. I can tell you're juiced, man. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm freaking <laughs> fired up. So what is it that, that he did that disrespected you that got you to dislike him? This is not a therapy session. <laughs> well, no, but you, are, up here. But, but you are. So obviously he insisted on doing this interview with the schmo with your shirt off. When does the male modeling start? <laughs> Never. I mean, have you seen this day to me? I'm fucking ugly, It doesn't start, schmo, does it? You got more chance to me, mate, than you are but ugly. So, so, yeah, I'm gonna try that. So. <laughs> you and Luis Pena, best friends? Keep seeing you on your vlog, you guys hanging out all the time. That's not Bob my Ross. vlog. Yeah. He's here for the fight. He's a good guy. Why you gotta be gay with it? It's your, we best friends. Are these people your best friends? You're standing pretty close to them. Sure. Your hair's pretty fucking friendly. <laughs> Motherfucker. Any okay. other fucking questions? Good, Mike. Buddy, what did I tell you, Mike? Me and you will be having this conversation after the first round finish. And what happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened. You almost got knocked out. You got caught with a beautiful left hook. Gentlemen, Habib, uh, assalamu alaikum. And uh, Connor, congrats on uh, proper 12. Thank you, sir. Could we uh, get an official prediction on the fight? Uh, you cannot say salam alaikum and congrats about whiskey. Ooh, slap them then. Do something about it. Mike, uh, Francois, both a six to one underdog. Are there any concerns on your part? I don't know anything about that. I don't know nothing about numbers. I just know what I can do. How about kill the... this mother? Okay. How about the 19 months off? Does, does what about that, it? Does what it about it? Does it pose any problem to you? We'll see. I doubt it seriously. You take into the ring a lot of rage. Does that work for you, or does it work against you at times? You know, who cares? We're in a fight anyway. What, what, the, what, what does it matter? Well, for example, rage against uh, Vander Holyfield worked against you. Well, f it. It's a fight, so whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. F off. Derek, uh, how would it feel to get beat by a Frenchman in front of, in front of your fans? <laughs> You're gonna have to excuse my French, but fuck you and fuck him. <laughs> We remember that on Saturday night. <laughs> Write that shit down, take a picture, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> hey, so you think your opponents are running scared? This is the second time in a row now this has happened. What do you think? I think so. Yeah, well, there you go. You, call, you called him a cholo in there. So that's kind of racially motivated. Did you mean to say it like that? Mate, shut the fuck up and get away me. You're a... Remember that Jesus shit you brought up? Yeah. It's such a stupid question, man. What? This is a question people want to know, man. You're an idiot. Questions for John. Hey, John. Uh, you're 30 now. So I'm wondering, uh, as you turn 30, I guess on the 19th of July, what would you say about your 20s? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it somewhere in between? How would you look back on that, that decade in your life? Um, I don't really like you, Luke, so I'm not going to answer your question. Right. 
What do you say to the critic who says, well, Sonnen's just a big mouth who was in that fight the first time with Silva because his testosterone levels were four times higher than they should have been? I would say, hello. That's it? That's all you're giving me. What are you worth today? There's people, there's people buried in the desert for less than that, that you know, you're, you're, you must think I trust you or something with these kind of, um, these kind of, <laughs> how much are you worth? How much, how much are you on? What's your, what's your wage? What's your monthly wage? Um, I, you know what? You, you, you spend my total net worth in five minutes at Starbucks, I'm telling you right now. No, I'm nowhere near, but I, I ask the questions, and so I want to know. But Nate, Nate, well, I Diaz, also like to ask what questions. are your financial goals? How much do you? How much do you want to be worth, Nate? What kind of money do you want to make? I don't know. <laughs> Say it like it is, Nate. Will you have a Who gives a f***? Say a f***? <laughs> is this the money channel? Who the f*** is this? <laughs> I told that you to you take five. You absolutely did. This I told you to take five. <laughs> yeah. Hi, over here. Um, I'm going to start with a couple of questions to John. How come this is the third time we're actually taking focus from the fighters and the fights and talking about what you have in your body, whether, whether it's a picogram or a pictogram? Why, why have you tested now? Positive. Uh, next question, please. Thank you. Oh, wow. wow. Sit down. I'm sitting down. Well, I want to take you. the mic from her. Better questions. Better I journalism. I, I, don't, I don't understand what your question is. What, is there what, a what's the reason? Better journalism. Hey guys, better journalism. You suck. Body. Better journalism. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let him talk. Chael, am I wrong when I say that you've been unusually respectful to John Jones? I'm not used to hearing you this way. Well, Levitar, I don't have all the details, but if you said it, you're most likely wrong. <laughs> How many more fights do you think you can lose and still be such a big draw? Oh, Dan, come on, you're asking me, why would have I ever thought of things like that? I don't have any idea. How long are you gonna hold a pen in your hand and not write anything down? I mean, what are we gonna do, go back and forth and ask each other stupid things? Look. What was your reaction when you read, if you did indeed read uh, the Deadspin article, uh, pointing out that you're something of a race baiter? Uh, I don't know what that means. Did you read the article? No. All right, part of the article, what the race baiter means is that you play on stereotypes to point out that you're the white guy and you sort of go after the black guys, whether it's Anderson Silver or John Jones in a stereotypically cartoonish way. I, I, would, I don't know what to say. I, I, I would resent that. I'm not sure that's, that's very unfounded. This time Chael Sonnen cried during a movie because, uh, you know, the emotions were tugged at. Are you race baiting me right now? Do you have something against blue-eyed Germans, Dan? You gave me nothing, Chael, on the race baiting question. You gave me nothing. Certainly you've seen the article. You gave me nothing on that. There was no depth. There was no answer there that, that uh, summoned any introspection. That's right. Correct. <laughs> Good summary, Dan. Well, it had to be hard. I'm glad you're paying attention. See, now we're getting somewhere. We started a little slow, but now I see you're paying attention. Well, it had to be hurtful to you, though. It had to, to read that had to, I, well, I'm being presumptuous, but it had to hurt. Uh, I, I didn't read it, Dan. I, I've never heard the term until you just used it today. The things that you said about Brazilians, for example, Chael, where you're saying that while you were playing with computers, they were playing with mud. You understand how it is that some of that would be taken as race baiting, do you not? No? Uh, Dan, I've got a degree in sociology from the University of Oregon, apparently you do not, because you're, you're greatly mistaking race with ethnicity with nationality. If you said that I said it about Brazil, which is not a race, it's a nation, then you might want to run the tape back and not air this, because you're going to look foolish in the presence of a genius. You tend to go after the black guys with more you, ferocity than you do like Michael Bisping, for example. Oh, wow. Didn't you start this interview by saying how nice we were to, to John Jones? Yes, but I think you changed your game plan. Yes, you've been great to John Jones recently. Yes, More than have. Michael Bisping? <laughs> you've been unbelievably flowery in your praise to John Jones, uncharacteristically flowery in your praise to John Jones. Stunningly. All right.
Oh, more than anyone ever. Congratulations on that. Third, third interview for you. I'm very pleased about this. You third, deserve Third interview in sports most unwatched broadcast. Wow, look <laughs> at me. Uh, you are my little fav my favorite little product of nepotism, though. You really are. Uh, I do. I'm riding you. I'm riding you to glory. I think it's all over, though, after this next fight. I think it oh, ends. Oh, wait, wait, Jones. good for you, Dan. Good for you for sharing your opinion with us. You're right so often, after all. <laughs> <laughs> cloaked in success of your fancy set down there with the blinds in the background and a small picture. Look like you're doing well. <laughs> Thank you, brother. It is. It's literally always a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, I literally could never say the same, but you are welcome.